How to share the screen on WebEx Meeting for Android? Let's see how to use the screen share on WebEx Meeting. You need to be in a meeting and also have permission from the host to share the screen. If you do not have this, you might not be able to share the screen, depending on how the host set up the meeting. Tap on the three dots from the bottom. We have here multiple options to share a whiteboard, share screen, files from different cloud providers, and also a photo. Let's test now a bit the sharing for whiteboard. Let's talk about the option we have. The first option we have on this bar is the pen. The pen will allow you to draw, write or make anything on your screen as you usually do with a pen on a piece of paper. Also, you can change the color on this option. The second option is the text option. You can simply add the text to your whiteboard. The third option is Erase. Simply tap this option and then tap on one of the modification you did and that will be deleted. The fourth option is Point. This option will set a pointer on the screen that will allow you the person who follows you to pay attention to this part. One of the vital features that you need to know is hidden on the More button. Tap on the three dots. Here you have option Let only the presenter annotate. If you enable this option, other person will not be able to make anything on the whiteboard. This is useful if you are a teacher and you do not wish the kids to write on the whiteboard. If you wish to save your drawings, there is the possibility of saving on this button as well. After you have finished and you wish to close the whiteboard, tap on the back arrow from the top. Let's try to share a photo on the screen share. So select photo. Find and select the photo you wish to share. On the photo sharing, you will also be able to edit the page as the whiteboard. Tap on the first button from the top. Now you see you have the same option as the whiteboard. You can use it the same. To get back to the previous menu, tap on the arrow from the top. The second option is the rotate feature. If the picture is not correctly added, just rotate it to look ok for you and your participants. Now. Tap on Stop Sharing. Let's try now Screen Sharing. Just tap on the Screen Sharing. You might get a notice about allowing the app to appear on the top. If so, tap on Settings and enable the app to appear on top. Let's see how this looks on somebody else's screen. I am looking at my PC and it looks and moves quite well. You can also do some excellent stuff here. Tap on the Cisco icon and select Annotation. You have the same bar with options that we explained. Nice, we can even paint on our phone. After we have finished sharing, just tap on the Cisco logo and tap Stop Sharing. Please note that sound from your phone, like playing a video on YouTube, might not work. Participants will see the screen but will not hear the sound. For sharing data with audio, I always suggest using a laptop or PC with Windows or Mac. If this was useful, Please like, share and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them on the comments area below.